Today we're going to destroy a vehicle that was used in a police impersonation back in September of last year. This vehicle had tried to pull over an off-duty police officer. The individual was contacted. He was subsequently arrested. He was convicted and uh, the car is forfeited to the city and today we're going to destroy it. What I expect to see? I expect to see a vehicle torn to shreds. It's going to be cool. When you have a police impersonator, somebody that engages in that type of activity, that's a huge violation of the trust that we have between the public and the police department. It represents a huge danger to the safety of the citizens, but also to our safety too. It makes it more difficult for us to do our job. We want to do our part, and hopefully in getting that message out today, that that behavior is just not tolerated. I'm sure the individual that did this, it, it'll come out to him and he'll get to see his car being torn apart. What he used as a tool of his crime is no longer going to exist. Hopefully this will send a very strong message and deter a few individuals that are thinking about doing that. One of the country's largest and most modern law enforcement organizations is the North Carolina State Highway Patrol. Nearly 600 men patrol over 70,000 miles of highway. When an accident report comes in, these highway patrolmen move out in a hurry. The North Carolina Highway Patrol is prepared to go anywhere, anytime, to protect users of North Carolina's fine highways. And they get there. Now meet Colonel James R. Smith, the patrol commander. Our job is to enforce North Carolina's traffic laws. It's a big job. That's why our cars have to give top performance in every kind of driving situation and at the same time give our men maximum protection. And here in Houston, Texas, Ford goes first too, just as it goes first with police agencies all over the country. Over 70% of all the cars operated by the nation's state police today are Fords. And no wonder, nobody outperforms Ford. Here at the Indianapolis Speedway, a 56 Ford V8 recently set a new 500-mile record, averaging over 107 miles per hour. At Daytona Beach, Florida, Ford won the top award for the best all-around performance. And at Kingman, Arizona, a Ford V8 set 30 new world speed records. In performance, Ford goes first. Test drive a new Ford and prove it to yourself. Babylon chasing you to vaccination For a little bag of herbs, stick a ganja No one want to brutalize I'll make we roll The Babylon side I'll make we roll Side the police car Them are done we roll Never release pressure Can't get no phone And then we roll I'll make we roll The Babylon side And I'll make we roll And every day Babylon them chasing you to the nation Using brutalization <laughs> And me say fist full of ganja man mm, Me tell ya we a fist full of sound man Cause them a brutalization mm, Babylon boy them come with brutalization Them use a stick, them use a stone of body nation Ya Babylon and them use brutalization I'm a free road Babylon siren, I make we roll Like the police car, them and so we roll Never release pressure, can't get no phone I make we roll, I make we roll The Babylon siren, I make we roll Like the police car, them and so we roll Never release pressure, can't have no phone Baseline to fight them out, say. We not use no brutality. 
Come help me brethren, we not use no brutality I say we come from paralyzed Babylon We in the BS9 Come from paralyzed Babylon with a big BS9 Can't come to me about comforting that In a robot dope style
Hello from the city of Adelaide in Australia. This is footage of an Australian-made Holden Commodore police car. The police car belongs to the South Australian Police Force here in the city of Adelaide in Australia. And the police are blocking off one of the main roads because there is an armed siege going on. Anyway, I won't talk any more. I'll just say goodbye from the city of Adelaide in Australia. We'll see you later. The Mountain View Police Department will be replacing our current Ford Crown Victoria police vehicle fleet with the all-new Chevrolet Caprice police vehicle, and we're excited to announce the first Caprice is here and ready to hit the streets. Mountain View Police Department currently has a total of 32 marked patrol vehicles, which will be replaced with the Caprices as each come out of service. The new vehicles bring several advancements, including improved safety features, technological advances, increased fuel efficiency, and better performance overall.